Before Oprah, there was Phil Donahue. Donahue, which ran on daytime television for 29 years, was the first talk show to include an audience as part of the show. But what should we do is the TV off and not the record. Record. It featured a wide variety of guests covering everything from politics. They believe that the United States government is prepared to usurp the Constitution and break down doors and confiscate guns. Am I lying to these people, Bob Fletcher and Jim Trockman? to entertainment. What's the chronology of Outrageous Fortune and walking away from Cheers? I mean, was Outrageous Fortune out and successful when you quit Cheers? To civil rights. Mr. Violenti, we needed your voice following this arrest right. to stand up and say, this kind of behavior has got to stop. Yes. Tell me, why that isn't, tell me why that's not a fair question. Donahue grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and began his career in TV and radio in the 1950s. His talk show premiered in Dayton, Ohio, in 1967 and tackled serious issues. In 1985, the show moved to New York City, where it became a ratings juggernaut and led the way for a new genre of daytime programming. Insatiably curious and accepting, he saw every guest as worthy of interest and worked to build understanding bringing us to see each other not as enemies, but as fellow Americans. Just three months ago, Donahue was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. <laughs> Donahue's wife of 44 years, actress Marlo Thomas, was at his bedside when he died, along with his children from a previous marriage.